Hey guys, so I'm at Brighton SEO and I'm with Barry Adams and I just attended his workshop on mobile SEO and this video we are going to talk about mobile SEO so let's straight away go to the Barry Adams. Hi everyone. Hi Barry. So why don't you start with what do you do? I'm Barry Adams, I'm an SEO guy, primarily technical SEO and I work with a lot of news publishers and e-commerce websites to try and make them perform better in Google and get more traffic. I thoroughly enjoyed your session. So Thank you very much. And my questions are around that. So. What is mobile SEO? How is it different than the SEO that we know of? I think a lot of it is the same as classic SEO for desktop websites. I think just in mobile context, you need to be a bit more aware of what people see on the screen and how Google evaluates your website because mobile, of course, offers a different user experience than desktop. And you have to be aware of that. You have to make sure you optimize your website for mobile experiences, but in such a way that you're not hurting your ranking. It's, it's very easy to create mobile experiences that have less content on it, but that also means Google has less information on your web pages to use for ranking purposes. So you have to sort of make those evaluations and understand how Google calls and indexes web pages so that, you know, both for mobile and desktop, you try to achieve complete parity. You're not sending the wrong signals to Google, especially now that Google is in the process of switching to mobile first indexing. What is mobile first indexing? It's basically the only thing Google is really changing is that previously they would visit the website with a user agent pretending to be a desktop user. They're going to change that to a user agent that pretends to be a mobile user. So they will look at the mobile version of your website first and foremost and use what they find there, so all the mobile content, uh, the mobile links, uh, all the mobile elements on your web pages for indexing and ranking uh, your website. So do they have like two different index, one for the desktop and one for the mobile? No, it's still the same index. Everything goes into the same index that Google is building. It's just the way it gets in there is slightly different because Google now looks at the mobile version of your website as the primary version of your website rather than the desktop version. Is there a different algorithm for mobile and desktop? It's the same algorithm more or less. I think there's a little bit of leeway in that, for example, content that you hide in opening divs and things like that on mobile, you can get away with that. Whereas on desktop, Google doesn't want you to do that and it tends to devalue the content a little bit. Hmm. But other than that, I think most of the processes and the algorithms for mobile will be the same as for desktop. So why does the ranking on, let's say, desktop site is probably in the top three and then the mobile site for the same keyword, the ranking is on the second page? It could be that you have a slow loading website that for mobile users might not be as good in the experience as desktop users. It might be that mobile tends to be a bit more personalized based on where you are location-wise versus desktop, and that might be a factor there as well. Or it might just be that your mobile version has less content on it than the desktop version, so Google doesn't see it as as valuable a search result. Makes sense. Let's say if somebody is going to start optimizing their website for mobile, what are the three top factors that they should be focusing on? Make it fast. Make sure that you have all the right signals there in terms of content and metadata that you also have on desktop. And be very aware of the user experience that you offer. For example, overlays and interstitials or, or advertising that they don't interrupt the experience on mobile. Okay, so basically make it like more user-friendly and fast because it's mobile. Exactly. Okay, but last but yet most important question is about the zero position. Does it work on mobile? Yes, those an answer cards in mobile search results are very important because they take up a lot of on-screen real estate. As on desktop, you can scroll by them very easily. On mobile, they're so prominent that it's very hard to ignore them. So they're very important on mobile, also because they tend to feed into voice answers. When someone asks a question of a Google Home Assistant, Google tends to fall back on those knowledge answers, those answer cards to provide that answer. So it'd be very important to try and tap into that. And that comes down to finding the right questions that people could ask of you as, as a provider, as a service provider or a product provider, mm -hmm. and building pages, content pages that specifically answer those questions, like good how-to guides, good, good best of guides, good explainers, and then making sure you cater your content there with use of like tables and bullet point lists to try and capture that knowledge answer result if you can. Okay, uh, how to get that position? You need to have a fairly good ranking on the first page of Google anyway to claim it. And if someone else has the knowledge card ahead of you, it can be very hard to kick them out of that particular knowledge card. So you have to sort of become better at it, like provide better content or build better links to your, to your website as well. And you can use a little trick for that. If you have a query that uh, you see a knowledge card answer appearing, like a website.com is listed there, you can amend the query with minus website.com and you see which website would be next in line then to, to get the knowledge card and hopefully that be your website in which case you know how far or more or less you have to go to to claim that knowledge card yourself oh that's a neat trip um thank you barry
Yes. You're welcome. Awesome. Bye-bye. Cheers.